Hey, hey, back at it, Sports Bit. Betting Insight today, Paulie and Teddy, Thursday, August 30th. I'm at Real Sports Bit on Twitter. He's at Teddy underscore covers, SBR picks. We'll go rapid fire through the final preseason games with some line movement and some interesting tidbits. And we'll tackle one of the big games in Major League Baseball tonight and big game breakdown, big four game series. Diamondbacks in LA taking on the Dodgers. The Dodgers a game back, Colorado a half game back in the West. Let's go rapid fire. All the betting news you need to know in less than 20 minutes. Bad beats, bad bets, bad for the books. Bad for the books. Steam on the Red Sox got there. Although Price left early with an injury, $3 up to $3.60. They won 14 to 6. And the Phillies avoid the sweep. $1.20 up to $1.50. They come back and win 8 to 6. A vicious beat in this game we'll get to coming up. But to the Phillies, not only do they avoid the sweep, they picked up a game on Atlanta three and a half back. Yeah, I mean, look, last night, not a great night for the books in MLB. 60 cent move on the Red Sox cashes. 30 cent move uh, on the Phillies cashes. The Pirates, they were bad as well. Plus 155 down to plus 140. Two nothing final there. Pittsburgh takes the wise guy's steam against St. Louis. And they yeah. cash as well. Baltimore even took steam yesterday. Bali, of all the teams, the Orioles. And you know that was wise guy money. Orioles started as about plus 110, even plus 112 in some spots. They closed the chalk. They won 9-5. to five. Or Yeah, to five. they had been what, one? <clears throat> they'd been 1-12 and 12 against the Blue Jays and swept them. And I was surprised with the Pirates' money as well, as the Cardinals have been red hot. And uh, they've won nine series in a row. And early on, we wise we hit the air. There's early money on the Pirates as well. Uh, lose some bad bets. Yankees 250 up to 275. They're lucky they weren't swept in this series. They were down 4-2 in the bottom of the eighth. Great job by the White Sox. White Sox beat the Yankees 4-1. Yankees continue to struggle against bad teams. Cubs under 9 down to 8.5. They got beat at home 10-3. I don't know why Mills was $1.90 in that game. Uh, bad beats. Here we go. First five, Blue Jays. This was close to a moose. It was tough. But first five innings, the Blue Jays led 4-1. to one, Bottom of the fifth. One on, two out. Base hit, base hit. Grand slam by Jones. And the Orioles cashed the ticket there in the first five. And that's just brutal. I mean, when you talk about, look, you're going to have more beats when it comes to shorter wagering sizes. So if you have quarter bets or inning bets, you're going to take, there's going to be more games that are right around the number. The five inning line likely to have more beats in the full game line just because it's a shorter time frame. But come on, you got a first five bet. You're up four to one with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. And you give up a granny to lose five to four. That was pretty rough. But that wasn't the only Grand Slam home run. That was the difference maker in first five yesterday, Polly. Another tough beats if you had Philadelphia. Uh, no, the Nats. The Nats first five. Oh, the sorry. Nats led five to two in the fifth. Two outs. And then Santana hit the Grand Slam as the Phillies cashed the first five inning there, uh, six to five. Here we go again, trying to get involved with – I mean, imagine if someone – Someone tries to tell you your business and you've done this. It's worked for it worked in Nevada for 60 years without one problem. And they've also uh, uncovered point shaving scandals. You got these buffoons that are trying to introduce uh, legislation and a bill. David Purdom, ESPN Chalk, had a great tweet. Do sports leagues believe they were adequately protecting the integrity of sports when Americans were betting hundreds of billions of dollars for decades in an unregulated market? Another tweet. Hey, guys, let's try to fix a game. But let, let's wait until sports betting becomes legal. So we have to give the books our IDs before making our bets. Then we'll really get them. And I know the American Gaming Association basically came out and said, you know, this is nice. You're worried about the integrity of the game. Where were you the last 26 years? Yeah, I, I mean, politicians do what politicians do, which is try to get TV time, try to get headlines, try to make themselves more important. We talked about Orrin Hatch and his legislation, which doesn't appear to be going anywhere. I'm not convinced that Chuck Schumer's legislation is going to go anywhere either. There's only four months left in this session uh, of Congress, and it doesn't look like any of this stuff that these guys are posturing for in front of the cameras is actually going to get introduced as legislation and will go through the, the process. This is just politicians talking. That being said, here's what Chuck Schumer had to say on federal betting legislation. Quote, the stakes are too high. Legal sports betting laws must be crafted and executed in a careful and thoughtful way, which, of course, is why you're ignoring everything Nevada's done for the last 40 years. <laughs> As state legislatures develop new legislation in the weeks and months ahead, I hope they will take these principles under consideration. I also support the efforts in Congress to debate 
and develop bipartisan federal legislation that would adhere to these principles. The integrity of sports is too precious to not protect as best we can. Make no mistake about it, Polly. This has nothing to do with the integrity of sports. This has everything to do with everyone trying to get a piece of the pie, everyone trying to get your money. You as a better, everyone wants a piece. We have to be smart about this and not just go, oh, yeah, let's get some federal legislation. Don't give them money that they don't deserve. Yep. And the, my favorite's when they don't know the difference between the hold and the handle and assume it's a uh, money-making machine like the uh, blackjack table and uh, the craps and roulette. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.